Hello and welcome to this video from myself and a big hello to everybody on YouTube land. Just wanted to show you really some some um, things about the Genos strings because uh, the strings have been a big bone of contention with many people since the Genos came out. There was this big marketing ploy and it sort of showed you this big orchestral sort of arrangement and everybody thought, oh yay, strings are coming, strings are coming. And to be fair, they did, but they weren't what we were expecting. <clears throat> so I want to show you. These are the Kino strings, um, very German. They aren't strings that you would typically use for a Hollywood ballad or some sort of romantic piece, otherwise it would sound like you're going to murder somebody. Very, um, yeah, no. <laughs> They're not something you would use for romantic music. Uh, but however, they do have their place in the genus because they are very poppy. You can do movie scores, that sort of style stuff with them. I'm just using the Kino strings. If I go to the Kino strings warm, whoever thought these were warm should have been... Um, <laughs> They're so raspy, it's unreal. No, not something I would use. Kino strings low. Well, okay, all they've done is move the strings down. Kino strings slow. Can you tell me that... There's a subtle difference in that, really isn't. Um, Kino strings natural. The two violins, the Celtic and Jazz, are very, very good. Nice, I can't... Can't complain with those. Then we got this classical cello. Now for me, the problem with these is the sample is too short. So therefore, you don't. You just get this repeating vibrato sound. It doesn't sound good at all. You can hear the wave bouncing as it's sampling forwards and backwards. It, it no, not not nice. And same thing. If you listen, uh, anybody who has VSTs at home or uses VST, there's a. Um, pack called Tina, I remember the name, Tina Gilio, Tina somebody anyway, uh, and it's a cello um, VST. If you listen to that, you makes you realise how million miles away the cello and the genus is, um, because the samples aren't long enough. The one thing that this keyboard is lacking is sample memory. Um, it really doesn't have enough detail in the samples. I'm hoping Genos 2 is going to be a complete re-look at the way the sounds are dealt with and, and manufactured in the Genos. Um, certainly in the string department. So these are the Kino Strings Warm VC. Warm being, as let's add some sustain to it. So as, we, as we're going through, we're finding that the strings in Genos just, yeah, they're, they're not designed... They're designed for sort of pop music, no problem. Seattle Warm, for example. Yamaha really need to have a look at what's out there in terms of string libraries from big companies um, because these just don't cut the mustard. This whole slow thing, I, I just don't get it. Why? It doesn't sound... It doesn't sound Hollywood. That's the words I'm looking for, Hollywood. However, so I'm not here to moan about the strings. I mean, we all know what you get when you buy a Genos for the string department, and, and it's, not, it's not amazing. However, <clears throat> let's go and press on the main screen. 
just here at the bottom right hand corner, the up button. Now this takes you to all the categories of sounds. And, and before we go any further, I do want to point out, this is not me slating Yamaha. This is me simply pointing out that the number of amount, well, in fact, the number of emails, feedback-wise, with regards to strings, they've got to do something because it's been going on too long. So, however, as I say, if you press the little arrow and then go to page two, you'll see this folder called Legacy. Now, what they've done is they've put their older voices in here. <clears throat> and to be honest, thank God they have, um, because the best string voices that I use in Genos are the older voices before they went to this sort of modern pop sort of sound that's in here. So if you tap the strings button or strings folder and then go into page four, there are some very nice, and it's just simply called strings. They're nice. And you can take those, and if you go to Menu, Voice Edit, you can do little things like brighten the EQ on those, and you get start to get a nicer sound. And again, if I add a little bit more, say a little bit more, we're going to the top of the top of the level. And again, if you go into sound and add a little bit more filter and cut off, hear the difference. It becomes a bit more um, brighter. That's the only word I can use. Obviously, it's it's cut off, so it is going to be brighter. Uh, and if I go into resonance, now with resonance, you've got to be careful because the more resonance you add, it starts to make this like weird fizzing sound. It's the only way I can describe it. And they become more of a synth sound than anything else. So I, I'd leave, leave your resonance about four. Um. And then you've got something better. Okay, I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to come out of there because I want to show you some other um, strings in this section that are also very, very nice. Now, bizarrely, and this, this really has always baffled me, We've got two voices which are the same. You've got strings, see strings on the first, on the top of the page, and then here we've got another strings. Why, why with the same name? Did they, did they run out of names? I mean, even if they'd have put strings one and strings two, who knows? <laughs> but there you go. Uh, this is what strings two sounds like. They're, to me, they're muddy. So strings one would be my, there's more depth and width. They, they play really well, you know. And then we've got this really nice um, voice called Symphonic. Let's have a look over here, see, Symphonic. And this grows, it's got sort of a release to it that builds the volume. Hear that? So that, that's nice for um, things like chords in your left hand, but you need to back off the volume to the level. So don't just turn it on and, and, and set the volume to, to whatever you normally use, because you need to think, well, hang on a minute, how low is this going to get? So wait till it's at full volume and then set the level. In this case, I've, I've got 61. 
And again, the same rule applies. If you go into the um, voice edit, you can go to the EQ and increase the EQ. Nice, really nice voice. So one of the things that we're finding is in legacy, don't just discredit the legacy section because you think, well, it's the old sounds from the older keyboards. Sometimes. Now, to me, that sounds more um, usable than the newer Kino strings. So have a look in your legacy section. See, that's one thing, spiccato. The spiccato strings in here are worse in the legacy. Uh, and I've got to say, I know I'm slating the, the string department. However, if you do go into your strings and you go to S Seattle spiccato, they're really great. You know, they, they've got that, they've got the sound that you want. And again, go into my little reverb department, blah, blah, blah. Crank up the reverb to about 45. And go into my EQ and change the EQ to its, to its, its brighter. They're, they're, they're good. You know, the spiccato strings and the tremolo in the normal section. They're usable. They're very usable. In fact, they're, they're really nice strings. They're really nice strings. Um, so yeah, so let's not discredit everything. Again, there's other spiccato strings. So you got that sort of thing. Theatre orchestra is quite nice. They got that. But these are in the normal section that you'll find in the normal voices. To go back to your legacy department, <clears throat> just press the little up button in the bottom right hand corner, then go to page two. Okay. And then go to legacy strings, and you'll find all the voices in here. Solo violin. I mean, I've definitely improved on voices in the genos not the legacy department for the things like solo violin because they are much much better so in the page four of legacy you will find strings strings <laughs> and symphonic and symphonic is really nice They, they are really nice. And again, as I always do, I always go in and add a little bit, that little bit extra reverb. And even hind strings. So if you're looking for that sort of movie sound, um, you can go into the movie and show section and you can choose, let's go for ethereal movie, which is <laughs> so, so, so used. So maybe that you like that. 
and then what you can do is you can go back in on a different voice and go to strings. So you go uh, legacy. So that's what we're looking for. Strings and add that first string to the symphonic. And then what you can do is you can simply move that voice down an octave and it'll give you this warm string that will combine with your symphonic. So if you go to octave and just turn octave down one octave. Okay, and it gives you this. So you can really create some really good sounding strings. Um, so all in all, look at, have a look in, I would definitely recommend you have a look in Legacy for sounds. Because in Legacy, this is where we found this incredible, and I mean incredible, saxophone. <laughs> and even though this is a Legacy voice, it's still pretty much become one of my favorite go-to sounds. Um, just add a little bit more reverb, a little bit more EQ to just add a bit more brightness. I don't know whether my ears are failing, but I always tend to find myself adding more brightness to the sounds because they always sound like they're muffled. Um, and I'm not that old, so don't, <laughs> don't come back with that sort of thing. But it, I do find myself brightening and adding more filter EQ, uh, again, to sounds just to give a bit more... That's just completely transformed that, that, that voice. And just add some more volume. style but that that is in the legacy voices and it's one of the best saxophones i've heard there are a few dogs in here that you wouldn't you know, mm -hmm. no thank you um sweet tenor sax now that's another nice one that's in the legacy section But you see what I'm saying about this lack of memory, sample memory, because the voice, you can hear... A normal saxophone wouldn't just repeat with vibrato exactly like that. It's a nice sound if you're playing runs, but if you're playing voices that hold, it starts to become a bit too mechanical, too digital. Um, so the answer, this is just my view and, you know, you can disagree. You can be throwing tomatoes at the screen as far as I'm concerned. I don't care. Um, so this is, again, another great voice. Had a bit more reverb, a bit more EQ. Legacy voice. I do like the growl sex. Yeah, that's an old voice. Uh, ethnic flute. Now this is another section that Genos needs definitely looking at. Other instruments all around the place. In fact, I've got to say, Verzi of all companies in God's earth have absolutely nailed the flute department. They've got um, so many different ethnic flutes that you can call up and play. But, yeah, this sounds like it's never been updated since Tyros 1. And to be fair, the pan flute doesn't sound real. Uh, yeah, I would actually go as far as to say flutes 
definitely do need a big look at because they're they're very very weak. Um, so that that's another one I would look at. And um, the guitar section, Yamaha have sussed. I mean, there is nobody that comes up with a better guitar department than them. I mean, they're just they're just they're just awesome. I mean, there's absolutely. Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Choir maybe needs a bit of an uplift because they don't sound real. If you lay them with something in the background, see the prob the problem that they are fate on probably problem that every keyboard manufacturer is going to face. And you've run a manufacturer <clears throat> trying to get my words out is the fact that VST plugins for computers now have got so absolutely amazingly good. Um, I mean, you can download anything. You literally search. You type in Peruvian pan flute, you'll find one. You type in upright piano hit by a cat, you'll find one. Um, there's, <laughs> everything's out there. But the quality and the precision in the sampling is stunning. Um, one of the vocal um, expansions, one of the VSTs that I bought, it sounds like an, an actual cathedral full of choir boys all singing, and it's just perfection. And then you come to... It, just, it doesn't... It's it Unfortunately, it's dated, and I think the technology needs to have a big kick up the backside because... Looking at computers, people are going to go, well, I, why would I buy another keyboard? Because my computer can sound so much better than... I mean, don't get me wrong, you'll never find a computer that has an arranger like this. Or at least I've never found one. Uh, not not a good one anyway, let's put it that way. I've seen some attempts which are absolute car crash, but nothing like this. Um, if we can get the voices and use the voices from things like VSTs. Maybe this is something where Yamaha maybe are going to go. Who knows? Um, then you can pull in some absolutely stunning voices, not only into the instrument, but into the styles to give more realism. So maybe, who, who, let, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm just sort of speculating at this point. Anyway, I'm drifting off topic because the whole thing was about legacy, legacy voices and what you should use, and where you can find some really great stuff that's hidden. Well, not hidden, but it's not easy to find in Legacy. Uh, you've got all these... In fact, you've got all the old organ sounds that were in the previous... And again, I'm sort of... Let's go back into Legacy, organ... Where are we? Let's find the... Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. In actual fact, you know what they've done? They've put the... They've put some of the old organ stuff in there from the five. The, it's funny, but is it just me? But have the days of theatre organ sounds in keyboards been and gone now? Uh, at one point, everybody wanted to turn a keyboard into a theatre organ. Um, and, and the sounds are all over the place. Everybody had them, um, including myself. I, I was, you know, one of those that converted this into a two keyboard with pedals. Um, but I don't hear many people doing that now. It's like it's sort of the, the fad has faded. Um, and everybody wants more modern pop stuff than, than the old fashioned organ sounds. But there are some stunning, stunning voices in Genos. Um, and as I say, do look in Legacy because you will find some really, really nice stuff. Um, even the pianos, there's some nice stuff in piano. You've got this, in fact, this co cocktail piano. I remember a very, very, very old CVP piano that came out with that built in and everybody wanted one because it was the novelty voice at the time. And if you notice, every keyboard that comes out, there's always this wow voice and wow style that you will find. Um, and it, again, it helps to sell keyboards no end. So you've got harpsichord, piano orchestra. 
these are all legacy stuff, so you you know you can have a flick through. Mini Grand Piano. See, I, I don't even know why they. In fact, I challenge anyone to say that they've used that. They're old, old sounds, but um, there are some nice, odd ones in that here and about. Okay, so if you want to find yourself some nice strings and um, not splash any cash or have to dig deep or use Expansion Manager, you can simply go into Legacy. Go to Legacy. Don't forget, let's just show you. Come back out. So if I go to the main screen, so I'm on MIDI ground. If I press that little downward looking, upward looking arrow in the bottom right hand corner, then go to page two. Oh, hang on, go back up, sorry. Then to page two, Legacy is the folder you're looking for. Then Strings, and then page four, where the voices that I highly recommend. And it's that one, and that one, and that one is a push. That's muddier, so if you did want to use something as a backing or a pad, that one's better, but this is more of a, certainly more of a... Much nicer voice. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now before you disappear. So make sure you click on that subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't, turn it off. Um, <laughs> it's as easy as that. Uh, and uh, until next time, I shall say a very big um, thank you and uh, goodbye. Uh, if you find this video useful, please leave a comment and certainly I'll, I'll add more to show you some other great stuff in the Genos.